like forever since I've been in the studio. I miss it. I miss. It I just miss it. I miss you, boo. Absolutely, I miss you too. I miss being here, Listen uh. Vision Live, uh, and all that good stuff. But welcome to everybody tuning in. It's the Busy with B Show. The um, Busy with B Show. Yep, with yep, boo. yep. With Boots, man. I mean, we here. We back. We we missed y'all. We took a took a good week or so off, uh, but we back today. We back in the pocket getting ready for the holiday season and the turn of the new year and all that good stuff and the arrival of Miss Bella in a little bit. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So, last week I, I, I feel ill. Um, I, I did not feel well. And it's happening more often. Ladies, help it's me out. About that you time. Give me, can't about relate. that time. I'm it's a about little that time. over seven months. So, you, I almost never know what I'm going to get. So, I won't. It will be some times that I won't be here, but I trust my good fella right here. We're going to hold, hold it down. We're going to hold it down. Yes, he's going to hold down the show. I may call in. You know, I can't you know stay away gonna from call. my Y'all baby. Y'all know she's going to call. Y'all know she's going to call. I can't stay call. away from my baby, and I'll, I'll, I'll be in the background. She's going to be remote hosting. <laughs> yeah, remote hosting. I, I, look, I'll sit on the phone the whole time and let somebody call in and want to talk and help Boots out. But right. I trust him. He will be holding on the show, and sometimes in the blink of an eye because you just never know um Absolutely. and i'm learning that the the rough way you know i'm a little older this go around so <laughs> you know be, um but yeah boots will be here in my absence holding down the busy mm-hmm. would be uh fr- franchise yep. <laughs> I'm in here. I'm in here. Yeah. I'm in. I'm a represent. I'm a represent. You I know, I ain't I, new to this. Yeah, you true to this. That's, that's it. True. That's I, it. That's I it. I really appreciate you uh, taking me under your wing and just really teaching me and 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 grooming me and. It's been my pleasure. Yeah, it's been my definitely. Pleasure. I I would you know. Of course, you never forget those people that just take absolutely and train absolutely. you up. You know, we grow together. We we go together. All that good yep, stuff. All that. <sighs> Today's show, I have Donetta Wilson. Mm -hmm. She's going to join us in the studio. And it kind of made me want to touch on gun violence and how it has affected me. You know, just share one story of, um, trust me, I have more than one. Well, let the people know who Miss Wilson is. Miss Wilson is Makaya Wilson's mom. Mm -hmm. Um, She's coming up on, what, about uh, five months since she was killed over there in Clayters. Mm Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I remember that story. The 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 the, the, the young dudes popped out and just started um, all that gunfire and uh and like I guess like a the little cut you know the little apartment um circle yeah, or whatever you want to call circle, it. Yeah. Um and um young young lady got hit and she uh, passed away. Ten years old. And I think a lot of old. times we focus on, sh- she had two kids that actually, yeah. you know, fall victim, you know, not fall victim, but one, we know we lost Makaya, she was 10 years old, mm-hmm. and then her older daughter also was wounded um, trying to protect her daughter. So, it's the good thing is that she'll be in the studio, we'll get to hear from yep. her, herself, and she'll be able to tell that story. And we'll be able to go from there, ask questions, all that good stuff. And you always can call in at always. 315-954-0688. You know that number by heart already? I know the number by heart. I don't know. You better than me. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I definitely wanted to just touch a little bit on gun oh, yeah. violence. I wanted oh, yeah. Bruce and I to both share a story of um just how gun violence um. A lot of times, well, of course, everyone knows I'm straight from Southeast mm-hmm, Washington, mm-hmm. D.C., born and raised. Um, that's where my family's from. And, of course, as you grow, you branch out um, and you live different places because now at this point we can't afford to stay where we grew up at. Right. And um, w- we talking about it, but I don't really see, you know, how it is. It's, it's just not <laughs> reasonable. Yeah. So, um. Of course, when you going through life, where you from don't determine the person you become. You know, oh, it it can, de- it can mm. determine who you become, mm-hmm. but it doesn't define who you are, especially mm. if you don't let it. That's a jewel, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, with that being said, um, I wanted to talk about just gun violence and how it directly affected me. Just share a story, which, of course, no one really f- fell victim. But it was just material. But uh, what? 2016. 
um, I came home early from work. And at this time, I was working in Bethesda. So if you guys are not, not familiar with Bethesda, Bethesda is rich. You know, that's where the money is. Area code 20814, look it up. But I was working in Bethesda. I was traveling from Southeast because, again, I was living at home with my mom. And I came home early from work. At that time, I was a manager for the company I worked for. So um, it really, uh, I came home early. Normally, I go to happy hour and, you know, come on in the house. But this particular day, I came home and stayed home. I was tired. Around maybe 8 o'clock. Again, it's 2016. Um, you just hear pop, 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 pop. You just hear the whole neighborhood like it's fireworks mm -hmm. going off. And um, you know, again, I'm from Southeast. I get down. I get down on the floor. I'm looking for my daughter, making sure, you know, we down. And um, come to find out, neighbors and everybody knocked on the door. A little young guy, he was hit. Um, he later told me that my car saved his life, mm -hmm. but my car was shot up. I mean, shot up. Like how many, um, how, like how many times you would say? About? I at least had at least ten gun um, bullet like holes. My, yeah, bullet holes. My windows was shot out. My car was shot. It was it was shot up mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. And um, so just to have to call out of work, you know, I was like, dang, because a, a part of me was ashamed a little bit. Of because course. again, where you you know you, you work, Bethesda. yeah, you you where you work <laughs> and how you present yourself. Nobody ever think I'm from where I'm from. You know, they they tell me where you from. Uh, they always give me North Carolina, Georgia. You know, but it's just. I didn't become a product of my environment. I, I feel like I was a lucky one. But at the end of the day, I never really looked at myself like Southeast, you know. So I never really cur I ain't going to say never curried myself like that. But I just always knew God and was introduced to him early in life and wanted more for myself. But that just goes to, goes to show, yeah, I had to call out of work. And I did share the story to, um, you know, you shared with one person. It's like telling the whole office. And I told it, you know, I used sick leave, but I called, you know, I did tell a friend that, you know, my car was shot up. I really can't make it to work. Mm -hmm. And it was just the thing. And so now they just look at me like, oh, the girl from Southeast who car was shot up, you know, but she think, you know, where you from don't define you unless you let it. Right. So, I mean, just, it, it was just crazy. But that was just one of the ways that a lot of times where we from, we kind of take and and hold that and be ashamed of it, you know. But I'm proud to say where I came from and how I made it out. But we can't let um, that directly affect who we are as individuals. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, unfortunately, um, I don't have very many stories of how gun violence has direct has affected me. Um, hold on real quick. Main man, can we get a little... How it has it, how it has really affected me, um, and my direct loved ones or what have you. Um, I did I do have some family members that have gotten involved in some things that have affected them, but um, I'll use the story of. Um, so I'm from. In contrast to Miss B here, <laughs> I'm from a suburb. I'm from PZ County. I'm from that. I'm from Fort Washington, <laughs> as a matter of fact, and you know. Um, when we first moved to Fort Washington, it was a very affluent community. Right. For a long time, it was the the highest, you know, it was the where the where the where the mo black people made the most money in America. The, those type of communities. Right. So um, around about the ninety, around the turn of the nineties, that's when everything started changing. You know what I mean? That's when everything started changing to the point of you started seeing robberies. Mm. You started seeing um, people getting jumped and people, you know, hanging on the corner, under the street light, so on and so forth. And so I would say my story is how it affected just the, my community where I grew up. People started getting shot. People started getting killed. Things started happening. And because of that, uh, as you can imagine, that brought the police presence. Mm -hmm. And once the police presence came in, that's when the police 
we started seeing police strong arm people right. using um, kind of some real aggressive tactics to police our community. And so it really had a real, real snowball um, effect on our community just from the actions of, of a few. Hmm. So, but uh, you know, I think what was happening too is back. I mean, even it's still happening now. We we moving on them borderlines of <laughs> Fort Washington, yeah, Canada, and absolutely, know, we can't really afford to stay right yeah. there where we and grew f- up at. Yeah. So that violence is is traveling. Absolutely. You know? So that that's mm-hmm. what's happening. But it's it's up to us to take care of us us as a people, as a individuals, as a African Americans. We can no longer point the finger. Um, at politicians and you know no at this point we killing each other we doing it to each yeah. other and easily you know easily because of where I had to grow up at you know I could have been a victim of uh, you know just Absolutely. being shot it's been times where um, I'm I'm coming home and I'm I'm coming in and you you see a group of guys this I mean this actually this 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 story right here is actually my sister's story. <laughs> She was coming in one night to come to my mom's house, and a group of guys was coming out the gate with guns. She 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 was confused, didn't know which way to go, you know. But it's just luckily they wasn't on the one where they wanted to take somebody right. out. But it's just like we as young people, as kids, we don't have a choice, you know. So if you out there gang banging and still shooting up neighborhoods, I mean, you have a choice. I mean, you you want to have a kid one day, or you know, if this was happening to your family, if that was your daughter, you know, it's easy for me to say, what if that was my child that mm-hmm. got taken away? You know, you never should have to imagine your child being taken away in such a violent way, right. just because we have no choices, really, at this point of how we grew up. And where we live, especially as kids, we don't, yeah. that's that's what our mom determined right now, you know. So just the fact that she was cut short and victimized by something that I'm sure could have been avoided. No, nobody fight no more. What's up with that? They suckers. What's up with that? I mean, people. It's it. I could go on and on about that. But at the end of the day, people are just scared. They are scared. They are scared of getting beat up. Scared of what could come from just losing a fight. And like I said, I could go on and on about that, but yeah. it's, it's just the world we live in right now, so, unfortunately. Mean, it's happening so close to the schools. It's just no respect. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's no respect how, at least back in the day, it used to be for the kids. You move out the way. You're not rolling the blunt when people trying to enter yeah. the hallway. I mean, and see, the, and, and the other thing is back in, uh, you know, Sam, just like you, I'm sure, I remember the late 80s, you know, the crack era of D.C., when D.C. was the murder capital and, you know, murder and and violent crime was ridiculous in this area. But at least back then, a lot of it was over money. Hmm. You know, it might have been illegal drug trade or what have you, but there was, you know, it was a real issue. You know, you stole some money from me, you shorted me some money, something, something, something like that. Right. Now you looked at me wrong. I don't like what you did on Instagram. You, you know, you tried to go on me on Facebook. Uh, you, you know, you said something about my girl, and it just escalated from there. Yeah. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. So it just kind of lets you know the mind, the mindset of our society in general, and the the the, the, the devaluing of life. It's such in a general. devalue. Yeah. It's such a devalue to our own lives. And it's just like if we don't value our life, how can we expect the hospitals to value our lives? Yeah. I mean, uh, the, the very much thing that that we complain about. Yeah, you know? it's systematic, though. And yeah. that's, that, that's a whole other <laughs> show, too. It's very much a lot of the stuff that we're talking about is very much systematic and has been going on Way since the moment us. since the moment we stepped foot in this country. But I don't want to get on my soapbox tonight, so I'm going to chill. <laughs> Look, we got some time. We def- we waiting for um, yeah. Donetta to join us in the studio. She, Absolutely. She she phoned me and said she was running behind. But I, you want to take a take a quick break and regroup and all that good mm, stuff? Yeah, we can. Hey, let's do that. Yeah. Um. Oh, in the meantime, while we take this break, um, we're gonna share some pictures of Micaiah and um. 
just uh some pictures of her and her mom interacting and stuff like that. And um I didn't say this before, but it'll be nice if we can put it with some something, some some nice little tunes. <laughs> On the spot. <laughs> On the spot. <laughs> but yeah. So we waiting for her to come in the studio, guys, and we'll be back. Um Don't you go can... nowhere. We'll be right back, y'all. Busy Thanks. with B.
what up, what up, what up? We back. back. We, she's here. She, she made it here. through the traffic and everything. And like I said before, she wasn't here. I don't know if she was watching on her way to the studio. But we are going to remember Makaya. We're going to celebrate the life of Makaya. Mm-hmm. And we're going to talk about the future and just some of the things that Donetta is doing in the neighborhood. I see a lot of things going on. And I told her once, you know, I give birth to baby Bella. I'm joining in the fight <laughs> of you know, just walking against gun violence and all that good stuff. Absolutely. But introduce yourself to the show. I mean, I, unless you're under a rock, you know um, what happened to Micaiah oh, well, almost five months ago, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, just introduce yourself. Um, I'm Donetta, Micaiah's mom. Um, I'm glad to be here. I appreciate you, like I said, for you putting this together because um, a lot of people have stories that – they, you know, that they believe what happened mm-hmm. on that day. And so I, I just, you want, your yeah, story. I just, you know, I'm just great, you know, appreciative to have, be able to tell my own part of the story. Tell your story. Yeah. It's all yours. The floor <laughs> is yours. So right. on the day of um, Micaiah's death, um, tell us how, how was it even looking at home? Just how was, how was that day? Um, it was an amazing day. Um, I woke up. <laughs> fussing at her brother. So she was always Micaiah. Mom, you know, calm down. Um, You know, normal kid things mm-hmm. with your kids. Chores that's not being done. My son, he's the only boy. Yeah. So he's spoiled. You, you oh, know, that's so. me. That's how <laughs> I was. <laughs> so I'm like, um, you got to get this done. I'm, You know, so I'm going crazy. So Micaiah's like, Mom, you know, calm down. Um, That day was so amazing to me because, you know, Micaiah, she loved all her siblings, but she loved her older sister and her brother. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that date is just like date. She was taken up for her big brother. Then her and her sister was able to go out, you know, and do time. But my oldest daughter, she work a lot, you know. Mm-hmm. So they don't really get to have a lot of sister-sister bond time. She always jumping in her pictures, jumping in her snaps, you know. <laughs> yeah, being the normal little sister. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. they don't really get to, you know, spend that time. So just, you know, you never know when stuff like this going to happen. So right. now looking back on it and seeing, like, that was so amazing to me that she got her special time. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then, like, I, we never knew that that was going to happen. Right. But that was amazing to me because I'm like, dang, I tell her all the time, I say, you got to make time for your sisters and brothers. You know, you got to do different things. You got to do something just on that day for something tragic to happen. But, you know, we got... Good memories out of it. Good, good. good. Yeah. And I hope you guys hold on to those good memories of her yeah, forever. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So what are some of the things that you want to dispel? Any rumors, any falsehoods that people have been talking about? Like like uh, B said, you know, we want to give you an opportunity to say the truth and what mm-hmm. your story. So can you touch on some of the things that you've heard or that people are saying that you know that aren't true? Mm-hmm. Um, and really give the truth about what happened or how it happened or what have you? No problem. Um, that day, they say a lot that Makaya was coming. She was walking from the ice cream truck. She was going to the ice cream truck. She had already been to the ice cream truck. So mm-hmm. she was actually sitting on the front mm-hmm. okay. with, her, with her older sister. So mm-hmm. um, a lot, you know, sometimes they do get the story. And then I'll, t- I'll tell um, different ones that I talk to on a regular basis. Like a lot of the... Um, channels don't really stay like right on me you know what i'm saying right. they'll hear something else and they'll probably try to put their things together but like four you stuff. know seven a lot you know with the post a lot of they try to keep they talk to me so when they was when they talk to me they don't know actually what happened right but yeah she wasn't going to the ice cream truck or she wasn't come. she had went to the ice cream truck that day but that particular time she was actually sitting on her front and a lot of people think it was just Makaya. you know yeah. we don't talk a lot about your yeah. other daughter, who right. was also struck by a bullet, you know, so it just really took over your family that day. And just, I can only imagine her. She survived and, you know, she lost her little sister. I mean, what has life been like in, in at home, you know, just for your older daughter, you know? Yeah, it's been difficult for us all, you know. Um, I see stuff like this and hear about it a lot, you know, different areas and stuff like this, but you never knowing that it will be this close to home. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it would be my child. So, we're we taking stuff daily. We're taking stuff day by day. Um, My pastor, he's supportive a lot. You know, all the walks and everything we doing, we do that a lot. Um, We're trying to start doing 
more family things. You know, I'm trying to get them to open up more to me because it's more that I know my kids be hurting, but they know that I'm hurting so much. So we all try to be the big people. Yeah, for yeah. Each other, you, you try know, to be so strong. Hold each other up. Yeah, yeah. definitely try to hold That's each other up. You know, we all have our breakdowns. So to certain people, like, at the balloon release, everybody was looking at my oldest daughter like, oh my gosh, she having a breakdown. And they looking at me like, mom, she having a breakdown. I'm like, baby, y'all don't know how many breakdowns we have. Yeah. We got our happy mamas, then we got our down mamas. I'm in the house. She walked right past me. My friend like, um, she see you crying. I'm like, you know how many times she didn't saw that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not that like, we're like, okay, well, but we see it so much and we did for each other right. so much that we just like, okay, she's having one of her moments. So right. we just, that's the bigger things. Like things that we wasn't doing before, like, mo you know, talking more and trying to just, you Spend know, go, time. yeah, mm -hmm. and be with each and other, grasp each other feelings. Because a lot of times, like I said with my son, <clears throat> you would think he would drive you crazy, especially as being a little brother, you yeah. know. But I'm, I'm explaining to them that so you just need a little bit of attention, you yeah. know. So when he get that, they be like, oh. But then the kids, they like, wow, he's getting on my nerves, <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? But I'm <laughs> right. like, him and my youngest daughter, Makaya. Right. They did so much together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now that that's taken away from him, he don't want to be a crybaby. So so give us the age. I mean, because we know Makai was ten. Yeah. And we I don't know exactly how mm -hmm. many kids yeah. you have. So. Five. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I wanted to know. Yeah. What's that age? Yeah. Even yeah. my eight year old, mm -hmm. she's into the story. So okay. when I told her that you were coming on the on the show, mm -hmm. she was like, I mean, mommy. So she started talking about it, and it's mm -hmm. so crazy because what is put out there in the media, yes. you know, my eight year old is is saying, you yeah. know, and I'm just a lot like, of the kids, her classmates, I, and everything. Yeah. They call me, you know, and I, I I'm doing something with the school where I told them I don't care, night or day. Like, if they feel like they want to talk to me, because sometimes it just be that they like, you know, we just yeah. want to make sure you're okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I do, I try, I do a lot of stuff with the school as well. We've got something coming up. That's what I was telling you right. for the 16th. And, and this is the great, the great part of having you on the show is, and you are now in a friend to the show. Absolutely. So, and with that being said, you are able to come on and, and talk about the things that's happening in the community. And like I told you, mm -hmm. after we birthed Bella, <laughs> Thank you, you know, me and Boots are going to be in the community. Absolutely. One of the things Thank that absolutely. I'm working on um, behind the scene is an organization. But like I said, I'm really looking for a church home. Okay. And so it's like I really want to, you know, find some backing. But I'm looking to start that organization and that mentorship because I know in our community, going through the transition of life, mm -hmm. you know, we, it, when we need that extra push, right. You know, to transition from middle school to high school to kind of figure out which way we want to go in life. We don't have it. Right. So right. we, as people like you mm -hmm. who have experienced such a, 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 a loss yes. that I will mm -hmm. never sit here and say, Oh, I can just imagine. Right. You know, I'm sad for you and no mom should ever have to, Put their baby to rest. Yes. That's ten years. Not like that for yeah. sure. You know, Definitely not like that. Especially not like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and I know that it makes you value life more. Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And, yeah. and just take it all in with. You have a four kids. Yes. And Makaya is still around. I'm sure yes. she is. Definitely. I know she's Definitely. moving and shaking in the house. Man, what? When I say that little girl, I was telling me the other day, I'm like, yeah, I'm telling you, if you got to meet her, the little girl was so lit. So times that I be so drained and I be like, wow, you know, I think about all the funny times. Even that day, like I said, she was peeking her head back and forth in the house, doing her little dances and stuff. So I'd be like different songs to come on. I'd be like, wow, that's, that's my crazy baby. Like that little girl, she was off the chain. So it's like the sad moments when you think about them moments. Because a lot of people, I post so many things mm -hmm. and I have so many pictures and so many memories that people be like, wow. Like, me as a parent, it do something to me because I don't got but five pictures of my baby. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, wow, well, I took, that's all I did. My kids drove, drove them nuts. <laughs> Take a picture everywhere we go. Right. It's the picture, you right. know? So, I am grateful that I was able to get them, you know, Those a lot of moments, you know what I'm saying, that I can remember with that. Because like I said, you don't never, you can't prepare for nothing like this. Absolutely. And it shouldn't be like this, yeah. you know, but where we're from, we can't really plan, like, right. you know, someone that's from the suburbs or right. someone that's from the other part of town. When you're from these neighborhoods, I mean, I know even me as a as a woman growing up in Southeast, I right. was just like, uh, you know, oh, okay, if I make it to 18, and, you know, I've never been in trouble, you know, right. I'm fortunate right. enough to never have travel down certain roads but right. it's just like mentally you know we don't we our brain we can't train ourselves like 
somebody else who already, you know, come from a structured background mm-hmm. in a neighborhood yeah. where they don't have to worry about losing their life just yeah. going to their car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, so it's just where we're from. But it's up to us to take our streets back. Definitely. You know, mm-hmm. we can't look for the politicians. You know, we know the drugs are out there. We know the guns are out there. Right. But what are we going to do? You right. know, we can't keep losing. I mean, because everybody lose on yes. both ends. The, mm-hmm. the people that took Micaiah. Right. And you know, and, and their families, and their yeah. families. Mm-hmm. everybody lose, mm-hmm. and it's just like for for us not to see that, for yeah. us not to think that we 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 fighting a losing battle yeah. against ourselves. Yeah. And one, this was my inspiration for starting this show mm-hmm. was just seeing so many people that I went to school with. Mm-hmm. And I posted my first video, and I just started praying, mm-hmm. and I was like, uh, I've been wanting the podcast been on my mind. Okay. And I posted my video, Weedy and his wife got killed. Okay. And I think Makai wasn't far out for that. Yeah. But when they got killed, I posted my video and I just spoke from my heart. And right. it got over a thousand views and I said, you know what, that's my that's what I'm supposed to do. Right. And right. And so to have you on the show. Yeah. And I'm sorry it's these circumstances. <laughs> right, you right, know, right. Yeah. It's just I'm so happy you here. Yeah. I want you to now, we're going to celebrate Micaiah. Definitely. And I want you to now tell the world and tell the community what you're doing now to kind of remember the life and remember the legacy and what you'll be doing in the future. Um, Definitely. Um, I, It's so like, I promise you, I wake up, it'd be different things. And people be like, <laughs> wow, well, why you didn't tell me about this? I wake up and I'll be like, what? I want to have a party. I'm walking. They were like, well, I ain't know, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I'll be now. Um, the biggest thing I definitely want to do, um, the all the walks. We de- definitely want to do that. Um, my pastor showed me something new with the lighting up the sky thing. I love that. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I always heard about it, but I Is never that actually when you did. You have it. the uh, lanterns. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 So we did it one time for her walk that we just had. We doing another one on the 16th. That'll be her um, five months. Okay. Um, of her tragic death. Okay. So we'll be doing that, and then like a little Christmas light thing too okay. so and then the following day i'll be doing some matter of school but um definitely i'll keep you posted that's the next oh, thing that yeah. i had so far coming up but um we're gonna be doing a whole lot of different things so i'll keep cool. you posted yeah, and it's just time. all about just you know i think one of the things you stressed to me too is you wanted it to be known that you know this really wasn't for attention for yourself i think right. and I, I wanted you to release that burden yeah. from you yeah. you know because i think it's very important right that it's okay yeah. that a mommy want to keep her baby alive you right. know mm-hmm. through activities and right. you know through giving back it's done all the time right. you know mm-hmm. and it's just your way of keeping her spirit with you. So right. I wanted to tell you in front of everybody, mm-hmm. don't you ever feel ashamed for mm-hmm. wanting to yeah. get out there and do things. Yeah. It, it directly affected you. So yeah. now you have a whole different passion yeah. than, than anybody else that has. Definitely. So you keep doing your thing. Yeah, and that's what I try, I try my best to. You know, we it's a crazy world we live in. So, you know, I am human and I have feelings. So a lot of times... You know, I try my best, and my parents will tell you, I be trying, because sometimes I be in the house, and I be like, wow, okay, that's not a nice word. We can't say it like that. <laughs> but these people are crazy, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And, like, for you to be, for even you, even if you don't know the story of her being 10 years old, right. you got to know enough. that this is never, never okay, yeah. you know? Never so okay. they words and sometimes things they do, it hurt my feelings. So that's when I act out, but I try my best to always think about, okay, Makaya's mom. Guess you know? what? Yeah, you and and now you have an audience, and people are watching you. So right. it's just like now, what do you want to do with that? You know, right. so you can take and hold on to positive, mm-hmm. or you know, you can let the negative bring you down because right. people will always say what they want to say, but it's Definitely. up to you to choose. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Like, I choose to be happy. Mm -hmm. You know, I always chose to be positive, no matter what. You know, we didn't Mm -hmm. have a lot to be thankful for, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But (laughs) it's a choice. And I teach my daughter that. Mm -hmm. Choose to be happy. You in control of what? So it's just kind of like feeding ourselves the positive thing. Okay. And if anybody not giving them (coughs) positive vibes, shake them off. Right. Right. And that's what I've been doing. Trust me. Slowly but surely. It'll be like... (laughs) Well, I haven't heard from you yet. I've been doing purpose. However, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so because I got to definitely. Oh, that's go ahead, okay. go ahead, go ahead. I got to definitely stay, um, you know, positive and keep myself because 
with everything that have happened, like I tell people, my life, my never, me, period, I will never be the same. Yeah. So if yeah. I don't keep myself in positive things, around positive things, then that make me in a whole never story. And I don't want to be there. The great thing is that you do have a church home and you do yeah. have a pastor. So mm -hmm. yeah. that's that's a start. And just having that positive when you put out positive, you get positive back. Definitely. And just mm -hmm. like this, I'm sitting in the studio. I was wondering, like, we cut the show short. I'm like, Boost, you going to break? And he like, <laughs> News Force here, and they want to. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I mean, and I was I, so it was a shock. But I'm just, just, just little things like that. Yeah. Someone right. coming to capture, right. you know, you, story, your yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and it, and you wonder five months later, what are, are people really here for you? Are people right. really right. still supporting you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. things that that nature so just to see um news for take that time out to come here and, and capture a glimpse of your story to put it out there to the world i commend you guys yes. so uh recently um i saw that another person was was arrested over the situation mm -hmm. that makes like right. seven people yes at this point right which i thought was very ironic being that you was coming on the show today yes and that just happened so i wanted to ask when when that when that happens when when these people um, are being apprehended. Does that give you any type of satisfaction, or is, does that feel like any like type of small victory for yourself? Um, it do, and then it's very overwhelming because again, you hear about these things, mm -hmm. and as you get the phone calls and the thing, and mind you, when when y'all hear, mind you, I didn't heard it three thousand times. Yeah, you know? yeah, so yeah. It's like overwhelming, but it's a good overwhelming. But it'd be like, wow, you know, this is actually my child. Right. So it's like a, you know, it's definitely relieving that they're getting them. Trust me. But it's just, you know, for all of this being so new and me, you know, just trying to grasp everything. Right. It sometimes it get overwhelming. Right. Yeah. It's only been five months. Yeah. I mean, it seems to us it's, that aren't directly involved. It seems like it's been a while, but right. it's only mm -hmm. it hasn't even been half a year yet. Yes. And so I, I can't can imagine. Me, it's like it's yesterday. Yesterday. Every Absolutely. Day, I'm like, wow. Absolutely. You know, and yeah. Christmas comes. Yeah. I can holidays. only imagine. Mm -hmm. Like I like a think of like. Like, who my baby want for Christmas? So just knowing just some of the things that you are fighting with yeah. and, and going through. I commend your family and your beautiful daughter is mm -hmm. here with you in the studio. Mm -hmm. And I mean, so it's just, you can, I know, because we talk, mm -hmm. how you don't want to stay right there. You you know, some you, you express to me that sometimes when people see you in the street and you could be having a good day and they just mm -hmm. say, oh, yeah. Makaya's mom. Yeah. It's just like. So you don't always want to yeah. be reminded. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. You know, you want to have a good day. Right. So I wanted to, it, it's like I talked to you beforehand. And a lot of times before before the guests come on, I try to, like, talk to them and mm -hmm. get personable just a little bit so I can know right. and pull out things that you may forget. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to bring that up for you. Right. Because that definitely, <laughs> that's one of the big things because, um, I, like I said, every day, um, me and my kids and my son, he joke about it all the time. He's like, oh, my goodness, mom, we, they act like we famous. And I'm like, well, Lord, Mike, it's kind of that we are at this point because everybody know us. You know, mm -hmm. we go in the streets, we in restaurants. They're like, oh, my goodness, that's the family. That's the sister. That's yeah. this. So it's like if I'm in the good spirit and I'm like, okay, well, whew, I'm having a good day. You come up to me. I understand where it's coming from, but sometimes that bring me down, you know, because I could be, I could be in a good spirit. But uh -huh. as soon as that yeah. one hug or then yeah. that one, I can understand because mind you, it's so many people like this lady told me in the Uber the other day, she was like, I just want to get out and park. Can I hug you? And I felt bad because I didn't want the hug, mm -hmm. but I'm like, okay, well, let me take this hug because if you could saw it in her face that she was just like, I said, when I see you ever in life, I just wanted to hug you. That's all I wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, you know, so it's like I have to be that person that be like, okay, you know what? This lady probably need this hug. Has people across the country and the, the nation, I mean, because this story went national. Has people across the country reached out to you guys? And... Definitely. Um, different jails, you know, they was reaching out to me. Mm -hmm. Um, overseas. It was different. It was, it's crazy. Like, in my DMs, else, yeah. they go crazy because it's like a lot of them guys, they haven't saw their kids for like 10 and 12 years. So yeah. they like, for them killing babies and stuff, they it's, reached it's, out it's, to me. It's so sad. And it's yeah. just like, I want... I want our community, and I, I can I say this because this is where I'm from, you know, and I grew up in these streets. I just was fortunate enough not to be struck by a gun, and I know I I, I shared my story, but I have many a stories mm -hmm. of just gun violence, gun violence yeah. and just because you know we made it out, but it's up to us to police our streets, Definitely. you know, and and take these guns away. 
And it's just like, what's beef? You know, yeah. what is yeah. that? Mm-hmm. You know, it's just... I'm just not getting it to the point where we got to worry about losing our kids, Kids. our eight year olds. Mm -hmm. I mean, the innocent ones, you know, Mm -hmm. so not revealing a lot. Have they ever given any information about how this all started? Yeah, it's basically was um, gang related through Mm -hmm. the two neighborhoods. Okay, so it was like a lot going on. It was basically supposed to be in a, a shooting there. And then it was Mm -hmm. a shooting. It was basically like they um, looking at it now was basically investigating. As investigating it under gang related throughout the neighborhood. And is the investigation ongoing at this point? Yeah. Most okay. Definitely. okay. I mean, that's why it's definitely, diff- you know, new people. And, yeah. You know, yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely ongoing. Wow, man. Um, like, I, like I said, I'll keep, definitely keep y'all posted. I'm a friend, you know, yeah. friend of the show. And anything you need, so, any, no, any, any, you need, any support, yeah. any, yeah. if you need us to come out for anything, these walks and, okay. and, and tributes to her, please let us know. I'm, I know I can speak for the both of us and we'll definitely be there. Okay. Um, to to support you guys any okay. way we can for sure. No problem. Yeah. That's, that's what B was telling me. Oh, you know when she first reached out, and like I appreciate y'all too because that was my biggest thing. Everybody make up their stories and do and yeah. say on what they want, but I'm the mom. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I just you know I want everybody to know. You know what I'm saying? How my child was and. All the time, like the ones that even hurt now of the story, like trust me, if you would have been able to know her, it would have been even tragic, you know, because that yeah. little girl, like I said, for her only to be ten, Makaya was so special because she wanted every, she wanted everything to always work. Yeah. E- even in my neighborhood, like she brought all the kids to my house. I'm like Makaya, who is that? When is Makaya's birthday? Uh, May 31st. Okay. <laughs> I was, yeah, I had you about to be on your astrology stuff. Yeah, so it's like the girl, she was like a peacemaker at 10. Yeah. So it's like, I'm probably, even in my neighborhood, she knew people around there I didn't know. Mm-hmm. So it was like, wow, I'm down the streets, grown people like, hey, Makaya, I'm like, who are you? That's the new grown woman, but it's like, that's how it was. So, you know, that definitely just keep me, definitely keep my spurs lifted and, you know, just keep me absolutely. To stay focused. Absolutely, and I absolutely. definitely want you to stay focused. Yeah. You have the platform now and, you know, it, it came in a crazy way, mm-hmm. you know, and, and God obviously felt that Makai was ready, yeah. you know, so now you have a platform, you have an audience mm-hmm. and it's up to you to promote positive and mm-hmm. put your word out there and things that you want mm-hmm. to be out there. Mm-hmm. And just remember, people going to say something whether Definitely. you're doing bad, bad or good. Or good. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you remember <laughs> just to do good and do what you can and stay yeah. prayed up and stay around people that motivate you and uplift you. And Most I promise definitely. you, we can revisit this in six months to a year, whatever. Okay. Life would just be just greater. Okay. Because you you changing your mind. You choosing to be happy. Right. Right. And choose to put yourself around people that want to see good for you. You have the audience. Thank you. So do your thing. Absolutely. Thank you. So tell tell us we wind it down. Mm-hmm. You was a little late. You yes. know we we could have talked all day. <laughs> right. But we wind it down. So mm-hmm. I want you to tell the audience. Um. On the 16th, you got okay. something coming up on the 16th? Yes. Um, okay. On the 16th, we're going to do a um, tree lighting. We're okay. going to do a tree lighting and then, um, the um, light up the sky thing I was telling you okay, about. Okay, where so is it going to be? That's going to be at Claytors. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, police going to be there. Yeah, the police. Okay. Yeah, we always say the police okay. out. <laughs> and the news. Terrible. That'd be another big thing. That they be, no, she's not the only one. Cause they always ask. They be like, look, it's no shade to you or Makaya, but... um. Is the police gonna be there? They was asking yeah. for the walks. So trust me, I get it no, because when again, I tell you, no, when you it young, don't stop. When you young, it's just like you have this certain I mean, just to know I was walking these same streets and right. you know, Southeast, I, right. I was like so carefree. Yeah. Wasn't thinking about like gun violence right. and stuff. And as I got older, I always share the story how I was with mom for a mm-hmm. while. But as I got older, it was just like I'm nervous to get out yeah. of the yard. Like, Seriously. you know, so it's Seriously. just like no, you. Just, I mean, honestly, when you have so much to live for, it's up to you to protect yourself. Just right. like I'm saying, it's up to us to protect our community. Mm-hmm. Right. So at this point, we know what's out there. So I'll be a fool not to ask. So, you yeah. know, with, you know, what's protect going on? yourself, yeah, protect definitely. your family. And I, I mean, and I'm telling you, it'd be Ubers. I, wanna... I went in the Uber, and he was like, "Oh, I'm not going up that street. <laughs> this a little girl got killed. And mind you, that's my child. Yeah. You know, so I'm sitting up well, to the man like, and it's that's not, my child. Yeah, it's... He like, baby girl. I'm not going up that street. And I felt them because I was like, wow. 
but I get it all the time. A lot of people, because that's why, like her birthday and different things like that, I'm gonna do it in a mutual park because I don't. I'm not mad at them. I understand. And you know, know, a lot of people point, don't want to do that particular area, but, but that's be, where it happened at. So that's why, like a lot of balloon releases and stuff like that, I do. I it think right we should be able to do it wherever you, you know, yeah. where that's you right. said where it happened. Like, hey, and that's what we are there for, you right. know, to support and. I think that'll be crazy, but yeah, we should we should show up where we need to show up at. Thank have, you. Have you noticed that real quick? Have you noticed that that particular community or the surrounding community things have kind of calmed down? Maybe because people are because of that, the, the the people out out there have been more aware of what they're doing and kind of more. You must didn't hear that mm-hmm. because remember it was another little girl mm-hmm. right after her, that. Mm-hmm. Right after that, same like, area, same, same yeah. area, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. like it's. The, I mean, looking wise, they boarded it up. Yeah. They did a lot of things, but did it have it changed? No. But they did. No. They did move you away from that. Yeah, they did, that night. I got out of there. They, okay. if, 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 if they was gonna move me or not, it was not a good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was, so yeah. that's why I tell people like I don't. I definitely would not never leave there, but because that's where it happened at. Right. I do different things. Absolutely. There, you know, but yeah. I'm gonna do a mutual spot as well. All right. At the end of the day, we are here. No matter where you, yep. you yep. are, we're gonna show up. You know, that was just a little, you know, giggle. I got you. <laughs> but it's just like, yeah, I, I, I want my daughter to see things like this. Like I yeah. said, she is so involved and, right. and she's eight years old so I, I want to know and um you definitely had my support yeah busy with b show and boots yeah we are, we are in the building and you guys we have to wind it down you guys can find me at facebook at zakia miss b johnson also at busy with b um on facebook on instagram at miss b one and at each and every monday right here at six on Listen Vision Live with my boy Boots. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank everybody for tuning in. Did you want to shout out any social media, anything it, for yourself, especially um, so they could follow, page, maybe come yeah. to the events? Oh, pages, and then also, a lot of people Miss don't Nancy know Styles. what you do. Yeah, oh, yeah. A lot of people don't know mm-hmm. that you are an entrepreneur yeah. and that you do, because on Busy With Be, we have mm-hmm. entrepreneurs that come on the show and share their story, especially when they come from the areas okay. in southeast washington or anywhere but just okay. to come on the story i mean come on the show to uplift motivate and um uplift the community but she is an entrepreneur and i think yeah. uh and, and a really good one <laughs> so i think that Thank should you. be uh touched on yeah let them know yeah, definitely um my 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 main page is miss natural styles um Everything is spelled the right way. I know a lot of people always ask that. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's Miss Natural Styles, and my hair page is um, at Slave with Daughters. Everything is spelled the right way as well. All right. Okay. All right. Well, check her out, y'all. Check her out. And thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for coming group. in. We New appreciate your family, your, your daughter, family. and yes. everybody for coming through. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Yeah. Tune in next Monday right here on the Busy With Be Show. See thank ya. You. See ya.